It was a historic moment for the city of Myrtle Beach. Ocean Boulevard jammed packed with people watching some of the most famous country singers in the world. On Tuesday, Bob Durkin, who orchestrated the first ever Carolina Country Music Fest, talked about the event's impact and presented that information to city council members. We actually had 44 states where people bought tickets and came to the festival and six different countries. Which Durkin says brought in more than 20,000 people for the four-day festival. As for the money it brought to the city, Durkin says those numbers are still being crunched. We don't have the tax benefit yet. The studies are still being done. But I think today we talked about the benefit for the city as far as exposure. And then there's the question a lot of us want to know. Yes, there's definitely going to be a 2016 Carolina Country Music Festival. Durkin says festival dates won't be finalized for another two weeks, but says tickets will actually be on sale starting this Friday. When we announce the dates, you know, you can refund if you, if you can't make those dates, but it's going to be very close to the same dates as we had, we had this year. While Durkin irons out plans, the city also has some decisions to make. I think the city will take a look at what its contribution to the event will be in the future. Certainly the city was a, a happy co-sponsor this year, but we'll have that conversation going forward. April Baker, ABC 15 News.